At number 4, we're going to write a slope-intercept equation with a line passing through 1012 with a slope of 2. With the slope-intercept equation, we need two things. We need the slope and we need the y-intercept. Now, the nice thing is they already told us our slope, so we know the equation is going to start y equals 2x. What we don't know is that b value, that y-intercept. Now, they do give us a point on the graph. Okay, they tell us the point 10, 12 is on the graph, and it's got a slope of 2, so we know it's going up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1, kind of like that. What we have to try to figure out is where is that y-intercept? Well, we find that by plugging in the values that we know. So we know that when we plug in 10 for x, we should get 12 for y. If we plug those values in, 12 for y and 10 for x, we can see 12 does not equal 20. We have to figure out what's the y-intercept going to be in order to make this equation true. Because if this point is on the graph, it has to make this equation true. So a quick fence post and we subtract 20 on both sides. We find our y-intercept is negative 8. So our full equation then becomes y equals, our slope was 2, and our y-intercept was negative 8.